Yo, good morning, y'all. What's up? This is your boy, Gary Spencer. How's everybody doing? Today's Saturday. Y'all know what it is, so shout-outs, and then get into what I'm going to talk about. So first person, I'm going to give a shout-out to. I missed this person last week. Um, HCO, Zo HCO Zombie. Yep, so HCO Zombie. Second person is Sega Blocks. And then, um, we yeah, so second person is Sega Blocks. Then uh, we're gonna get, and then uh, we got some new people. We got some new people that I probably didn't uh, call out. So who just joined? So next ne next person, give a shout out to is that Speed King, Speed King one one twenty five. Another person, give a shout out to is Dan Jules. Another person, we are gonna give a shout out to is Bear Squad Gaming. Another person is BLB Gamer. Another person is I'm the dudes. I'm the dude games. Another person is S. Is um SB Gaming, another person is Topeka Gaming, another person is uh Demare Gaming, another person is Pinch Gaming, another person is Sleepyhead Gaming, another person is Ford Power Gaming Mark Ford, another person is Collapse EZYT, and another person is GFP Squad Gamers. Mm -hmm. Then uh, another person is a uh, Clark Family Gaming. So, I mean, so, yeah, before I move on, just want to say, uh, welcome, uh, say to new people, what, thanks for, uh, joining my channel, and welcome. So, I'm going to get to the, so, the next person I want to give a shout out to is, um, The Game Room. Another person to give a shout out to is Stark8845. Eight, 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 another person is The Skinny Gamer. Another person is Clark Gaming, Clark Family Gaming, yeah, if I repeated that a bit. Another person is 64Yo Gaming. Gamer. Another person is a uh, Spy versus Spy Gaming. Another person is uh, the Earl Gaming PH. Another person is uh, Reloads Gaming. And um, another person give a, sh a shout out and special thanks to, to again is Dr. Josh the Real Gamer. Another person give a shout out to is Calvin Jr. Another person give a shout out. Another person give a shout out to is uh, Alpha Nerd Entertainment. Another person give a shout out to his lightsaber samurai. Another person is Rotten Games. Another person is Chauncey Talon. Another person give a shout out to his Rockstar Nick 2000. Another person give a shout out to his Filippo. Uh, another person give a shout out to his Eastern Lord Gamer Gaming. Yeah, Eastern Lord Gaming. Another person give a shout out to his 501st Legion Gaming. Uh, Another another um, let's see. Another person give a shout out to is Jazik Q. Another person give a shout out to is Dizzy the Gamer Jit. Another person give a shout out to his brothers gamers. Another person give a shout out to his Cloud Gaming. Another person give a shout out to his Godzilla Gaming five five five. Another person give a shout out to his Midnight Flare eight four one three. Another person give a shout out to his Jefferson Gamer. Another person give a shout out to his Mirror Rain Planet Games. Another person give a shout out to his Sir Jacobs. Another person is Kane Deathbreaker. Another person give a shout out to his Mr. Nasty Blasty. And another person give a shout out to his Mental X Gaming. So, as far as everybody else goes, I want to say thank you guys and welcome. I uh, really appreciate having you guys. You guys are the greatest, so thanks again. Yep, so... Today's Saturday, sixth day of the week. You know, got a got a pretty good workout upstairs in the weight in my weight room. Um, so that's what I do six days a week. You know, love it. So what I'm gonna get in. So what I'm gonna get into today is um, you know, my act, my uh, reactions and uh, my thoughts about me um, recollecting the retro games. You know, from from twelve from twenty twelve up until now. So. Well, my reaction, what my reaction was about um, re recollecting, um, was buying and recollecting our retro games again. Was um, I was feeling good and uh, pretty excited, feeling pretty good and pretty excited about it because I had I had those memories uh, just uh, coming coming and flying back to me all over again um, of the type of games I used to play when I was uh, you know when when I was a kid in the '90s and early 2000s, you know, such as the um, the Sega Genesis and uh, the Nintendo and like um, the PlayStation One and Two and whatnot, um, you know that, those uh, type of memories was uh, flying back to me. And um, 
it made me help help me realize that you know I really missed playing those again. You know, especially after my um Xbox my after my third Xbox 360 kept on you know getting red rings and not uh, breaking down. Um, I just got I just got tired of uh fucking around with it and um I just want you know my mind just you know wanted to go back to just um buying and uh, collecting buying and, uh, and uh, recollecting uh, retro games all over again and plus at the time I had a job I, you know I had my first job and I was working and making m making and saving enough month and had enough mo more than enough money saved up so I figured why not start bu buying and recollecting our uh, retro games all over again um you know not 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 all at once though but just a little you know just a little bit at a time you know, maybe you know, get all the games you want on you know, on your Sega, and then you know, move on to your to your next um, move on to your next uh, game system and whatnot. You know, like I said, and before I bought the Sega Genesis console, I started off with that Sega Nomad, and the Sega Nomad did look good. Did look good when I first saw it, you know, and I was impressed with it, and um, how you could also dim the lights, and you could in like there's they also have a chargeable battery out there for it, but I I never found it though. You know, you could leave it on 24-7 and nothing will happen. It'll still be on and running. But I just used AA batteries and make sure the plug was uh, plugged into the wall and, and um, the Nomad was plugged in and, you know, I was able to go from there. But I ain't played that in a minute, but, you know. But, yeah, like I said, you know, and, uh, you know, me recollecting re retro games, you know, just also, you know, Makes me real. Makes me also realize of definitely in my mind of how good and how great they are, and um, how you know video games you know started off you know being popular and um, being um, being above the charts, and um, how every time back when I go in the stores, like you say, Sears, you know, seeing that big set, seeing that big blue Sega, seeing seeing that big um, blue Sega light, you know, and just want me to go over there and play the Sega Genesis kiosk and whatnot, and you know, the Nintendo and N64 and PlayStation and you know that type of thing. You know, it just brought it just bring you know just brought back a whole lot of memories and excitement of I had when I was a kid, you know, and um, it's like you know not you know, um, and it's just like now as I you know like I said as I grew up and as I grew up and you know. And got older and whatnot. Like I said, um, it's still you know being a gamer is still inside of me. It's not, it's one of the things I love to do after I'm done working out and I'm done working for the day and I done cleaned myself up and got settled in and that's you know something that I like to do. And it kind of makes me fit, you know kind of making me fit you know kind of like you know back when I was a school kid you know you know you know once my home after my homework was after my homework was done and I ate dinner and whatnot then. It was time left over. I would go, you know, I would go play some. Uh, I would, I would start gaming and basically on the Super Nintendo and you know the uh, PlayStation One when I had it because you know like I say and then when I had that PlayStation One, I was excited about it too because you know just me playing it in stores and whatnot. But like man, I really want a PlayStation One and didn't get one until my fourth grade uh, year. So I mean, like it was still all right, still popular. But like when it first came out, and it was really popular. Not, my answer to that was no, because it was expensive, and my parents wasn't gonna get me one at that time. So, and then um, so like I said, you know, when I got it on the fourth grade, my fourth grade year, I was geeked. I was excited. As, I was excited as hell. You know, you couldn't imagine. You know, and um, yeah, you know, like I said, you know, retro games, man. You know, for those, you know, I would never, I would never throw away, throw them away and think, and you know, I would never throw them away or get rid of them, you know, like, some, like most of some other people out there would or has, you know, cause they find, they find them to be useless and not worth that and no point in having them anymore. Cause they, like I said, some people feel like they just taking up too much space in their house and they don't play them no more. So they just figure just get rid of them and sell them for the for the newer stuff now, and it's just, um, and then they just one day might look back on it, and they just might regret it, like, yeah, I remember I used to have the, the Sega, this, that, this, that, this, that, I remember that, I miss that, I miss that stuff, you know, and, um, you know, that's why, you know, I hold on, I would hold on to my stuff, and, you know, like I said, I love, love playing the retro games, I am a retro gamer, and, um, retro game, retro game, for, retro games forever, man, like, like, um, 
Like for real, that's my um, that's my opinion about it, and that's that's my reaction to me recollect recollecting buying and recollecting retro games again. Like I said, just bring you know memories flying back and um, memories flying back of the past and um, the excitement and um, the me you know me enjoying being a, a retro game being a gamer. So that's my uh, that's my reaction and thoughts to recollecting retro games all over again and um. Otherwise, that's all I really have to uh, say, and that, that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So y'all know what to do. Leave a, leave y'all's comments and thoughts down below. Click that thumbs up. And this is your boy Gary Spencer. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and I'm out. And remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.